Good yeah. morning. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Highland Hedgehog Homestead YouTube channel. We're sorry for the noise because of the street behind us, but we are today up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at Roarer Seeds Retail Store. Yay, Lancaster! We wanted to check them out because we're hoping that they have some good seeds. They're uh, kind of a mid-Atlantic local company. Um, smaller than a lot of the other seed companies so we just wanted to check them out and then afterwards we saw across the street and down the way there's a place called uh, Ken's Gardens so we're probably gonna go there too and check them out huge greenhouses and they have a load of trees out back so check them may out. <laughs> maybe we'll bring some trees home in the Prius today <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks for joining us here we go so here we go let's go inside Roar's Seeds the entryway. And then we've just got walls and walls and walls. Keeps going. This machine. This is a rocker here. Oh, with a bunchy cords. Isn't this that is a great? mop bucket. Yes. With a yellow five gallon bucket to match here. I used to have brakes on it, rods going down through with rubber feet on it, that I could put my heels on here, it would stay for it. Whatever. For this machine, in running it, I. This is not nearly as complicated as the other, but if you'd like to see it run. And how, how old is this machine? That machine is as old as I am. Which is 50, right? <laughs> and this one likely would be a similar. Yes. A similar. And what is your name? Uh, Wanger, Earl. Earl? Earl Wanger. And he's been here 14 years. Mm -hmm. And you are, sir? I'm Bob. Bob, and how long have you been here? Uh, off and on, maybe three. Ah, maybe so you're a newbie. <laughs> yep, yep. It's amazing that seed companies like Roar have been around for a hundred years, you know? How did, how did they get this done in 1920? <laughs> Farmer by profession, so he's your he's your uh, point person in terms of go to person. Huh? He's this your machine person. Do you see? There's a piston inside right. a piston inside a piston. Uh huh. Depending what, how much, and adjust. You see it sliding back. All three pistons are going back. If you're doing smaller volumes of seed, you turn it back. Then you lock this one in and loosen it. Somebody really tighten that thing up more than they should have. That is no, there's no reason for that. Hmm. I guess a hundred years ago you probably had to wait a little bit longer for it to arrive in the mail, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See the mid 
the medium piston is going back now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they can do the same thing with the small. That's now to run this. You get the idea here. There's no seat in the machine now. While I'm right here, let's. You might want to see this. They used to, and the one guy still does, sets the bags up here and lifts, climbs up in the table to get them in. Uh-huh. This is homemade. Put the seat in here. Oh, I need it. back over center. Yeah. But this has a half a bin. This fills the bin half full. Mm -hmm. Two of them fill it. Then you can take a third one up and let it there. It gives you half again the capacity in your... Now, if I were back packing seed. Just, you can imagine how it can go here. It's not high speed. And I put a vice grip on here so I can put my foot at this point instead mm -hmm. of down here. But this simply... Oh, and that controls it. Your foot controls it? Each time this way, so the seed's yeah. going in the measuring unit, uh -huh. and then it turns it and empties the seed into here. Okay, and you put the packet on the end there. Right, and just and you can leave it run continuous at that speed and just and then set the packets in here as they're filled. Okay. How cool. That's this ingenious. Is, That's ingenious. I mean, this was my own invention. This it's the way the unit came. Yeah. It's well designed. Now my pride and joy is this machine up here. <laughs> The old days, and we still use this on occasion. Uh, there's no seed in these packets that it will work for demonstration. Uh, these these packets that have been filled with seed, mm -hmm. a precise amount, and there's a glue apparatus here oh, and a piece that folds here. the ah. flaps down, so the filled packets. Usually I'm seated here for this too. Mm -hmm. Speed these in. Now because there's no seat in them, that you know, And they go around, get glued, and get closed. They get glued and closed and sealed. These aren't sealed, of course, because yeah. but you can see how straight the line is because yes. of. Very and cool. They used to just drop in a pile any which way. I made this myself. Then you come down here with a, a mass of packets, pick them up, mm -hmm. make sure they're sealed tight, tight, and it's ready to send out. So you're a bit of, a bit of an inventor, a pr improver. And yes, making, it's almost yeah. impossible yeah. to get parts for this old machine. Yeah, I imagine this isn't made anymore. When I started here, was broken down. The man that knew how to run it passed on his assistant and tried to run it and broken it. And I told the boss, I said, if I don't get that, when I started, I said, if I don't get that thing going, it's the first one that beat me. <laughs> I worked on it half a week, made parts for it and all, and had it working practically foolproof. That's amazing. The packets need to be curved in the directions with the unit. I mean, it's not, it's not just my own doing on it. Mm -hmm. I'll put a few packets in here for the moment. I won't run it yet. But here, if you're into the technical end of packing seed, we'll start over here. These fins, over the years, had warmed, and we I had two welding shops. You know, they, they wouldn't touch it because it was different kinds of metal. They said they can't weld something like that. Huh. All I did, this is in two halves that could slide apart. 
I used JB Weld. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you see where my finger? Yeah. Each? Yeah. Went along. And it's working for you. Well, it's, Years it's, since. It's working. This funnel is adjustable in and out. This funnel fits in here. This fits on here. And now that funnel that I had shown you before fits on here. The funnel's locked in place. Here is the arm that goes across every two seconds and drops the seed into this funnel and into the packets. Okay. But each of these scoops Wait till you see our smallest scoop here. Okay, this, so it's different scoop sizes. This for is the largest seeds. scoop, and there's sizes in between. Wow. This is the smallest one. Yeah. This was made to measure out medicines okay. before they had pills. Yeah. Granular yeah. medicine. Yeah. And this would be carrying the seeds, whatever it is, in here. This rotates continuous, raining seed down into that funnel. Okay. And these scoops, they have false bottoms. You see the threaded edge? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That determines how much seed yeah. the scoop will hold. Yeah. This is a typical average amount of seed. There again, it's a false bottom. Yeah. And this is going back and forth with seed it raining well. down here continuous. Yeah. Seed used to get carried out on the floor a little bit. <coughs> Had this here to keep the seed from coming out, but the upper surface of this was flat like this is. And now it's curved. And all I needed to do was grind the sides off so when the seed falls as this is going back and forth. To and the stop seed, it from going out? It, it falls on yeah. each side yeah. back in the drum. Yeah. Wow. This overfills, far overfills this, and runs off back into the drum. Yeah. But that funnel directs more than enough seed into here that this overflows mm -hmm. back into the drum. Mm -hmm. And on that funnel apparatus, it also has a scraper that when this is coming across, this is over full, piled up with seed. Right. But as it comes out here, each one is scraped right. off. Like a le taking a level cup of flour. Exactly. Uh, yeah, okay. Now watch this side of it here. And this, again, I made new parts for this. I'll turn it by hand first. You come over and watch close. Just okay. slide that out of the, that, that's good. If you come up real close here. I just finished a batch, so there's glue in here. I see. Instead of filling the whole pot, I put aluminum foil across here with tape beneath to hold just it. Just a little bit. And that's that's all that I need. I made this thing too. Mm -hmm. These are simply doorknobs. Filed notches in here, so it keeps this rotating. Uh -huh. Keeps fresh glue on here. Wow. These are spring-loaded pins and the guy that designed this thing in the first place. These, you see the glue drops on each of them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not as much glue as is put on because it was standing here not, right. but each of those is spring loaded. Okay. Now this is rotating about that speed keeping mm -hmm. glue up on here. Yeah, I'll turn it slowly by hand. Now watch this. Those 10 pins, spring-loaded, mm -hmm. are coming in and getting 10 drops of glue. Yeah. Now I'm turning it forward. Oh, wow. See the 10 drops of glue? Yeah. Now watch this. There it's flipping the opposite direction uh -huh. and putting the 10 glue drops on the, on the curved bag. Let the cover off here. To, just you know, come up real close. Just watch that packet. 
and they have to be curved first. Now the 10 glue drops are on the bag. That went away. Do you see the bag open just a mm -hmm. little bit? Just enough to let those wires get, get down inside. in there. And, for the and this is already going back for the next wow. one. Now listen to it click. It snapped the bag out. Uh -huh. The wires are open, holding the bag there. And now if you look in here, I'm sorry, I didn't even put the arm on. The arm would be dropping the seed the in, arm, that, in that well, cone. This, this came down, opened the bag, and the funnel's with it. And this would be coming across mm -hmm. with the measured mm -hmm. amount, don't forget the funnel, down into the bag. Uh -huh. Now watch this. And this is, that's just rubber bands on there. Uh -huh. But that gives the, what, gives a perfect grip on it. Now, this opens. Uh -huh. now, now watch, it's going to push the bag up just a little bit. Do you see that? Uh -huh. And that's to line up the bag uh -huh. in case when it was pulled out, it wasn't quite in line. Yeah. Sure. That lined it up. This grabs a hold of the bag. And at the same instant, these wires release the bag. Mm -hmm. Now this is coming down. Yeah. Now watch this roller. And I made a couple of those too just recently. Watch this. Here comes this packet with the glue drops on. Mm -hmm. it made a now watch this go under there. And this ah. is coming in to push the flap under yeah. that roller. Yeah. Now watch, the roller is going to, you see the roller coming yeah. forward? Yeah. yeah. This is coming out and there it's sealed and tight and spreading the glue out. Mm -hmm. And over on this side, it does the opposite and drops the packets out. Wow. Now I'm going to run it regular speed. Sure. There's no seed going through. Sure. You get the idea. Yeah. Right. Bit. And I can walk away from it. Just watch that thing go. And then over here, it pushes the roll to the opposite way yeah. and drops the packets out. I do. With a precise amount in each packet every two seconds. Wow, that's amazing. And then it's 80 years old and still working. Yeah. Don't make things like they used to, do they? They don't. They don't. And here is the, you see how tight and smooth yeah, everyone yeah. is sealed? Yep. Everyone identical. This was the first one that went through, right. mm -hmm. and it was standing there. The glue was drying first. While we were talking. While we were talking. Yeah. Sure. It died. That's, cool. that's and, amazing. And that, Earlier that were seeds over packs by at least a quarter, 25%. A quarter to a half. Okay. Again, it's wow. not on all the size packets, that's but right. on the garden, on yeah. this size packet. Right. It's, uh, That's great. That's amazing. It's Thank you so much. How many packets of seeds do you do a year? Do you know? About a quarter million. Quarter of a million. Quarter yeah. million packet of seeds. And if you look back, these are the finished, that's the varieties of finished packets. And you did all this? You did all this? Wow. Well, the pink packets is the next, they call them value packs. It's the okay. next larger size. But any, any of the white packets, how cool. And every one of those, you can wow. take them off the shelf and they are sealed and tight yeah. and right. And uh, it smells good. I don't know well, the, the shelving apparatus. Just the way the whole thing's 